What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this April 14th, 2020, about 8.55 p.m. West Coast time. And taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe here shows quite a bit of earthquake activity occurring worldwide with the latest earthquake, a 2.9 earthquake. Uh, looks like that's centered somewhere right around Southern Cal, possibly Mammoth Lakes there where they've been having uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity since that larger earthquake here uh, last week. A 4.2 did strike. Let me see when that happened here. Let's bring down the date just a little bit here. That kind of shocked me. 4.2 out there. I'm guessing that's right around Salt Lake City there. I know we've been seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity uh, in and around Salt Lake City since that large one they had uh, quite a few weeks ago now. Uh, just a cluster of quakes out here on the west coast um, all the way from Mammoth Lakes to Salt Lake City all the way up to Idaho as well uh, just a uh, puzzling turn of events out here with uh, the earthquake activity let's go ahead and zoom in here on a different scale closer closer view here to the uh, earth interact here we, right now one point uh, or one day magnitude 2.5 and above so that 4.2 looks like it may have just occurred here a short time ago uh, looks like possibly what do we got here Three, seven, maybe about an hour ago because uh, it was still showing up there red on the uh, circle there in Salt Lake City so a little bit of uptick there let's go ahead and include all magnitudes um, actually let's go back seven days 2.5 and above so we can get a, uh, a general view of some higher uh, frequency of pressure out here Idaho very very active out there with their earthquake activity still roughly within the same spot although like I've mentioned in the past updates here we're seeing uh, quite a bit of swarming southward folks look at Look at the general direction of all these quakes here. They're all moving southward in a big cluster here, right along the Sawtooth Fault System. And that quake, or that fault system there, is very capable of producing uh, a much larger magnitude than what they seen there uh, last week, or a couple weeks ago now, there in the Idaho region. Uh, potential for... Uh, Oh, what was it? 7.5 or so, or 7.0, 7 somewhere around there. I believe it's above 7.0 magnitude there, uh, potentially in the Sawtooth Fault area of Idaho. And all this activity increasing, even though this is the last seven days here, uh, that migration of quakes have definitely spread out in and around the fault system there, the Sawtooth Fault System roughly about five miles possibly more than five miles on each side of the fault uh, and this fault system runs down through the sawtooth range the mountain range down here into the idaho region a good distance so um i mean it's it, it doesn't take no rocket scientists here to believe or to see the uh the possibility of an increase in a larger magnitude earthquake out here taking place Pretty soon, um, this earthquake activity originally started. Let's go ahead and go back uh, 30 days, 4.5 and above, and that will show you the 6.5. That's this earthquake right here that struck uh, 70 kilometers west of Chalice, Oregon, or Idaho. I think there's an Oregon up there too, so that's why I said that. Um, well north, well north of the Sawtooth Fault system. The Sawtooth Fault is right here. You guys can see that roughly about uh, let's see the mileage on that probably about 10 miles or so um, well south of the uh, 6.5 that struck there a couple weeks back now uh, and that 4.8 is kind of an aftershock there that struck really close to the northern end of the sawtooth fault system but since then the migration let's go ahead and bring that back up there the 2.5 and above uh, let's go just go ahead and bring back the uh, one day 2.5 and above you guys can see the 
migration of quakes, the pressure out there well around that sawtooth fault system here. So um, no doubt a lot of pressure has been built up out here. What was it? Uh, <clears throat> uh, every two, what is it? Two to 7,000 years or two to 4,500 years, I believe it was, that uh, a major earthquake has taken place out here on the sawtooth fault system. So, and it's been a very long time. The 19 earth, 1983 earthquake that struck out here took place uh, well to the southeast of the main quake that struck uh, struck Idaho back, like I said, in 1983. So, sawtooth fault system, very long overdue for a major earthquake, and all this activity, uh, no doubt, is like a, a couple kids dancing on your green lawn, um, thinking that they're going to mess it up, right? It's it's very dangerous out there to see this much pressure in and around, or this much earthquake activity in and around the sawtooth fault system there. Uh, luckily, this is not a highly populated area, but a large earthquake could take place in this region uh, simply to the fact of uh, uh, the activity that we're seeing. Let's bring back the one day. Uh, let's go. No, 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 no. Seven days, all magnitude here. Big difference, right? The northern end of the Sawtooth Fault system, like I said, sits roughly uh, right about there. All this earthquake activity in and around and well south and southeast, southwest of the area as well, it looks like, um, taking place out here. So very significant movement uh, and the possibility of a greater earthquake out there occurring uh, is highly on, uh, on the high side for percentages. Uh, just something to remain that remains to be seen here. We'll have to see how uh, see how Mother Nature wants to handle that. Let's shoot down there to the Idaho region, real quick on this scale. Take a look at that 4.2 that struck there near Magna. I was going to say magma, but that wouldn't be a good thing to say, right? Magma, Utah. Magna, Utah, roughly about nine kilometers there uh, below the surface, roughly in the same spot that we've seen. The other earthquake activity that took place there. Let's go back uh, last 30 days or so, and you can see the uh, 5.7 that struck there. That little cluster of quakes there in the middle of the screen. 5.7, 4.6, and a 4.6 there. Uh, in and around the same. I mean, that's pretty much generally a cluster of quakes uh, in that same area. Not migration. Not any type of uh, of uh, swarming going on roughly all uh, centralized I should say around this area here I am not seeing any type of major faults that they struck on directly but there is this little fault system that sits over here the West Valley fault zone the Granger fault uh, and there's definitely been some earthquake activity out there as well in the past but uh, latest quake is at 4.2 the red or the uh, blue circle there I should say right around center basically centered around all the earthquake activity has taken place there uh, over the last week or so and we can go back last couple weeks and it's pretty much like i mentioned uh centralized in this location here um, and off of the west valley fault zone so very uh interesting activity there uh it's taking place here with that 4.2 even tonight there so we might see a little ramp up of uh, earthquake activity. Let's shoot down to the Mammoth Lakes. Let's get rid of this uh, all magnitudes here real quick. This is just a very quick update video, folks. I don't want to go into it too long. Uh, Mammoth Lakes, nothing big to report down there. Although, well, let's go ahead and bring back seven days here. Switching back and forth. What was that size earthquake that they had? Let's go back 30 days, uh, 4.5 and above. 5.2 is that central or that circle right there. That's kind of the larger one that they've had. Let's go ahead and go 30 days, 2.5 and above. That's gonna crash my computer. Nope. Okay. You can see the uh, localized earthquake activity there, well east of Mono Lake. 
out there on an unnamed fault system. There's actually no fault systems out there directly uh, on this map here. Um, a lot of people think this may be volcanic. I don't believe so. But the earthquake activity continues out there. And uh, it's well north. I wouldn't, wouldn't say so far. It's super far. But uh, a good distance north of Long Valley Super Volcano there. Um, oh, I don't know. By about 15, 20. Oh, about, I think about 25 miles or so northeast of the uh, Long Valley Super Volcano Caldera. But there is... Uh, some cones out there. You can check that out on the satellite imagery. Imagery, real quick here. Let's see if I can get that uh, key up. Let me zoom in here. East of Mono Lake once again. Beautiful area to fly over if you're in an airplane. Um, there is some cones, little domes out here. I should say volcanic activity. Let's see if I can find it here. Uh, let's see, is this the, uh, that's the 5.2. Let's see, where did it go here? I know I've seen them before. Uh, let's see here. When we were doing an update video, we kind of checked out here and we've seen some domes well within this area. But I am not seeing it right now. All I'm seeing is a lot of desert out there. Let's see. Well, yeah, there's some domes down there, some volcanic, uh, older, very old type uh, domes down there. You can see those little buttes right here. Roughly, uh, let's see how let's see how far they are away from this uh, region here. Oh man, roughly about two, three thousand feet or so, looks like. So within the vicinity, none within the dome area. These are the domes, the volcanic domes here. Uh, ancient, uh, well, near, I don't think this is too ancient. This might be uh, um, not within our time, obviously, but uh, within the recent geological past there. A couple more up here. Um, all volcanic activity. But the activity that's occurring here in Mammoth Lakes or uh, north of there is... Um, tectonic I believe I just don't see any reason to believe this is all uh, magma or volcanic related activity out there so uh, we'll keep an eye on it like always folks um, see if I can get uh, one second here I know Southern California the Ridgecrest area is still seeing some earthquake activity. It looked as though it may be on the increase a little bit today. Let's get off of this um, satellite view and let's go to terrain real quick. Terrain, terrain. And we'll check out the. Let's go last. Let's just go ahead and go one day all magnitudes here. So we can zoom in here to the Ridgecrest area here here you can see uh, some small quakes micro quakes on on the increase there on the southern part of that uh, area where we see the most large quakes back in July of last year but overall pretty quiet activity down there just a couple small micro quakes popping up uh, just today uh, worldwide here real quick I know I talked about Chile the uh, South America region a little bit of increase in earthquake activity down there. We've seen a very deep quake. Uh, that 5.3 earthquake right there in South America region. Striking 569 kilometers below the surface there. Chile, South America, no stranger to major earthquakes along this subduction zone here. Uh, in fact, one of the, um, the biggest earthquakes in the world took place there. And uh, it's... Like I said, no stranger to major earthquakes there. They're seeing a pretty good uptick in deep earthquakes, like I mentioned, and also surface earthquakes as well. In the mid to upper four range, magnitude four range, this is kind of a kind of something I haven't seen in a while. Uh, this type of earthquake activity and this deep movement, so definitely uh, 
something to watch over in the next day or so um, for some significant movement to the north, I believe. Um, looking over here to the uh, Pacific region, some older earthquake activity about ready to step off the globe here in the red color rings. All that movement looks as though it's moving to the west. Um, a couple fours and fives over here. Well north of the uh, Philippines Island region. And uh, yeah, looking, uh, looking pretty active over here. Overall, globally, we uh, I would say it's pretty much above average at the moment. Um, South America, the place to watch at the moment here. 2.9 latest earthquake, like I mentioned, out there in uh, Mammoth Lakes region. I'm going to call it a night, folks. I'm pretty tired. I had a nephew here over the past couple days, so uh, if anyone has kids out there, they know that uh, they can definitely get wore out uh, really quickly chasing them around. So hope everyone has a great evening out there. Please stay safe, um, and I uh, hope everyone has a great night out there.